Hey guys, RC here back with Club 5, Episode 5. We are with Grenoble Foot 38. We took over uh, the latter half of the season uh, for them after leaving Spain and Legante uh, and moving to France in Ligue 1. Uh, last episode, we had the season finale and we won 3 0, uh, but we lost out on Europe by one point. And I blame the predecessor. I don't think that was anything to do with us. Uh, but we do need to get better as a side, which hopefully I can do this off season at least a little bit. But we still have a pending takeover to deal with to see what happens there, to see if I even keep my job, because one of the two takeover groups uh, have, have said they will probably not retain me. So that's interesting. But let's take a look at the season review first, roll the intro, and then we'll come right back for that. As always, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and comment below for anything that you see think or just want to know about uh like having discussions with you guys so uh, look forward to the comments let's take a look at the new arrivals uh most of these none in fact none of these were from me so john quinones 18 year old wonder kid that's nice 1.2 million for him got a c grade uh we had some loanies i don't usually look at those guys uh nathaniel williams 35 year old center back Cost is $11.75 million. I think that was a horrible deal. Uh, yeah, definitely agree. Carlos Godoy, a 32-year-old powerful center back, seven and a quarter million. Those two guys are guys I never that I would never have signed myself. Uh, and Philippao, 33 years old. No reason to be bringing in those guys. Uh, going out. Uh, let's see, six and a half million for Manu Sabalos, 23 year old winger. I think I could like him here at the club. He could play all the positions I need in the mid and attacking mid. Uh, not a good sale, if you ask me. And he played a 709 rating, six assist. 32 year old goalkeeper, we got 150,000 for. 28 year old midfielder goes to Shakhtar for seven million. Daniel Strauss, I think that's a sound, 27-year-old fullback, 6.75, uh, 33-year-old attacking midfielder. I'm okay with that. It's hard to know, you know, how to judge those. All right, uh, League One season results. We finished eighth. We only had 36% attendance. Come on, French fans, step it up. We're in League Un, and we're challenging for Europe. There's no reason we should be that low. Uh, in the year, uh, Aziz Marty, 20 goals. I got a C grade, so that's good. The board won't be judging you on the performance, allegedly. Uh, then uh, I did get judged on this, even though, well, I guess I got credit for that, even though they were there when I took over, reached that second round, 36% attendance, and the French Cup uh, knocked out. That was already done when I arrived. Nothing there to keep an eye on. Uh, I mean, look at our reputation. There is no reason that we don't have more attendance. I don't understand that. Uh, sponsorship went up a few million. We did lose about 11 million on broadcast revenue. Most of that probably from uh, Champions League. Corporate and hospitality went up. Competition prize money, we lost uh, almost 10 million, well, $9 million. Uh, and match day commercial and retail went up 833,000 in merchandise sales, 427,000 of that coming non domestic. Sold uh, 3,300 jerseys led by Marty, Pekka Rannan, Garcia, Abdullah Guzel, and Nagano. We lined up uh, in that formation. You can see the players. Everybody played reasonably well. Uh, I could see some better performances out of my back, my, my fullbacks. Uh, we'll see how that goes next season. Uh, no awards this year. Uh, fans player of the season was Aziz Marty, Gabriel Garcia, young player of the season, J Jacques Nagano, 
Goal of the season, Marty with the top goal scorer with 22. Guzel, the 30-year-old winger, with 12 assists. Uh, four player of the matches for Marty, 7.3 average rating for Marty and Filipao, 55 passes completed per 90 minutes. But you can see we've got a very old squad. We have got to uh, we have got to get younger. Aziz Marty, 175 goals. Now, I've never managed in France. It may be that it's impossible to uh, sign younger players here. I have no idea. All right. Uh, don't care about that right now. All right. Club vision. Develop players using the club's youth system. Well, I'm kind of doing that in my other save. So that, that won't be anything different. Problem is we don't have any players in our youth system, right? I, I need to get away from I, this. This to me should not even be a thing. I shouldn't be signing contracts for these guys. All right, next season they want to qualify for the Euro Cup. All right, so let's do our season meeting. All right, yep, they can go off to their season. That's fine. Uh, we'll accept that. All right, well, let me get into the off season here and we'll see what happens. Uh, I will come back with any news on the transfer. Otherwise, look for us to come back around. Uh, July 1st with some transfer business. Oh, well, we first have to talk about our budgets. So uh, payroll budget, 8.18 million, 7.32 million on the transfer budget. So not a lot of money. This is, uh, this is troubling. But you know what? Did we make any moves? I don't, I don't remember. We did not. So I came in March 22nd. So Everything was done before my arrival, so we've got a little bit of money to look at for next year. We're still in the in way in the negative, so even though we have eight million, I'm at six point eight. I'm probably gonna have to sell some players. I'm gonna like to sell a bunch of those old guys and then see what we can come up with. So we'll look at that. I'll be back in a minute. All right, well, we are on June sixth, and there is some news, so let's see what's going on so the consortium has taken over the club so gillis torres is out pedro ramos is in as owner of the club uh big plans changes sooner rather than later speculation that raging cajun could be replaced by carlos agostino and let's see, Agostino's a 42-year-old. He's not bad looking. Uh, let's see. He was just fired as Red Bull Leipzig coach. So that was his first club. So, well, that would be disappointing. I want to thank you. $6 million has been pumped into the coffers. New transfer budget. My intention had been to appoint a new head coach. I will consider you letting you keep your job and will inform you shortly. Wow. Okay, so nothing is guaranteed yet. Um, that looks the same. That all looks the same. Yeah, we'll accept that. All right, finances. That all looks the same. All right, uh, let's see. Respond. Tax bill of $12 million. All right, there's our updated commercial summary. Seven new deals. Uh, so our main Jersey sponsor went down $3 million. And I guess that's because we didn't make e the euros. That's disappointing. There's the new, uh, new scouting budget, 927,000. We need to do world, man. We need to do that. Boom. Kick it up a notch. Still no news on whether they're going to retain me or not. So we'll be back when any of that information drops. All right. Well, a personal message from the new president, Pedro Ramos. Uh, he's been impressed by my support for the management, uh, by the support for my management at the club and has been persuaded to allow me in charge. And that has lifted the transfer embargo. And so, yeah, now it's time to get busy because there were a couple of guys I wanted to put offers on and they would not let me do it. And so, oh, we do have one bit of news. Where's he at? 
There he is. Nope, not him. Gabriel Garcia. Uh, he's 21 years old, and I have he has come that he wants to play cha- European football, and because we missed out this year, he can't hang around for a year to try to get us back to Europe. So he wants to leave now. Uh, so we've transfer listed him. Uh, he's valued at 52 million. Uh, I've put a price tag on him of 75, and nobody stepped up. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> But I need to get busy because we need a better team for next year. Well, signing day has arrived on July 1st. Now, I am on July 7th because I had to go ahead. I was on a conference call. So coming back, we have signed four players. Carlos Ibarra, 25-year-old right winger. We get a B-minus grade. Uh, We got him on a free. He will be making $477,000 a month. And he is valued at sixty million dollars. He came up through the uh, River. Well, River Plate picked him up from America to Cali. Uh, he was with West Brom, and then uh, he went out on loan from West Brom for two years. Uh, he hadn't done badly, but just not to their level, I guess. But he looks like a good pickup on a free for us. Uh, he can play central mid. He can play the right and the left a little bit. Uh, he'd be inverted on the left. Very, very good all-around skills. 25-year-old Colombian. We had to make a, uh, we're trying to make some moves to get him in the club uh, because we are limited to four non-Euro Union players, and we already had four, so we're trying to get rid of one, and I'll release him on a free if I have to. Uh, we brought in 19-year-old winger Nahuel Alonso. We get a B-minus grade on him. Two-star current, four-and-a-half-star potential, 19-year-old Argentinian, came up with Racing Club. We pick him up on a free, again, right winger. Very good ratings in those positions that we need him. He's lacking in a few positions, but, uh, but you know, I think he can do the job and really gives us an upgrade over there. Of course, Ibarra plays there. Uh, Alonzo is going to be in our youth system, and we'll probably send him out on loan. Uh, Jonathan Leclerc, 23-year-old striker, uh, he came in on a free, and he is French, uh, so valued at 19 and three-quarter million already. Uh, came up with Nancy, went to Maryland S for 2.6 in Portugal, uh, scored 18 goals last year in 34 starts, so he's got goals in him. And we signed him up on a free, and I think he looks really, really good. He's six feet tall, uh, likes to play the advanced forward that we use, great physical skills, uh, good work rate, good off the ball. He's got a lot of flair, which I'm excited to see that in one of my strikers. Good composure, dribbling, finishing, first touch, passing. I think this guy is going to be really good. Now, he's two and a half star current, three star potential. I think he's better than that, but you know, this is one of those guys that you look at the ratings and and go, he could do the business for us. Uh, we also brought in a 19 year old goalkeeper, Musa Sine, C minus grade. Uh, needs to grow a little bit, but uh, you know, he looks okay. And we got him on a free as well, coming out of uh, FC Mets. Uh, you know, depth if nothing else. Now on the Regular transfer front, we have made a couple of moves. So Murphy Maboyo goes off on a free. Mohamed Abdul Aziz goes out on loan. And we have sold Rune. I wasn't really sold on Rune last year, but he goes to Ascoli for $10.5 million. Uh, I don't even know where Ascoli is. Where are they? Uh, they're in Syria. So he didn't go back to the Netherlands. Uh, but he goes off for a good chunk. He's valued now at six and a half, sixteen and a half. Uh, he was only valued at nine million with us. So uh, we paid four point two. We sell him for ten point five. We get a nice little profit. And uh, so the reason I, you know, I wanted to let him go. I had some younger guys, uh, but there's the four guys that we just brought in. Taking a look at our team report right now. Uh, so we're looking at uh, Van Haraway and Aguiar, and I'm thinking I'm going to give Aguiar the start. Uh, he's a 21-year-old Portuguese, four-and-a-half-star potential. Uh, they're pretty much even right now, but he's got the most upside. Uh, we are trying to bring some players in. 
I'm just trying, you know, we, we definitely need a right back. I could use a left winger, and I definitely would like an upgrade at center back. So I've got offers out for two defenders uh, on loan. Uh, these are two loans. I don't know if I'm going to be able to take them both. If I can only take one, I'm taking Pollock because uh, I need the center back more. Um, but I am scouting center backs and left right backs uh, really hard uh, to try to get one, at least one in each position. I'd actually be happy to get two center backs, but uh, that is for a future discussion. So let's come back at the end of the transfer window and to open our season. Uh, so we'll be right back for that. All right, we're back to kick off the season against Havre. And there you see our friendly results. Only one loss, 4-0 to Man City. Uh, quite a few clean sheets. In fact, all clean sheets with the exception of Valladolid. So let's get in and look at our transfer business here and how we ended up. We had a couple of players lined up. They ended up taking contracts elsewhere. That was disappointing. Uh, let's see. I believe it was Rune was the last guy you guys saw go off. Uh, Carlos Godoy, he was one of our starting center backs last year. 32 years old and Uruguayan. Uh, aging and uh, non-EU player. So I wanted to get him off the books completely. Uh, we sell him to Genoa for or Genoa for 6.75 million. Nicholas Martin, a guy I did not want to get rid of. Uh, he goes to Tottenham for 60 million. Uh, he is a 24-year-old French player. R did not want to get rid of him. 15 goals, five assists in the league last year. And I was hoping to start building my strike force around him. But Tottenham came sniffing around, and he got his head turned, and I really didn't have a choice in the matter. Plus, I, you know, I'm still I'm realizing that, you know, kind of like uh, Levante, we are going to have to probably be a selling team to, you know, sell, you know, buy low, sell high, try to keep uh, profit margins in there. So we did get 60 million for him, which was a very good profit. Uh, you know, he was he came up through our system. So that was a good kick in the bucket for us. And then we had some other moves that we'll look at in a minute, and it made one of our goalkeepers expendable. So uh, this guy, I was projecting him to be our backup this year, and we move him on. We had paid $10.5 million for him two years ago, so before my arrival. Uh, we sell him on for 11 and a quarter. Uh, he did have the 25 starts in the league uh his first year did not start with rune in the club last year uh, allowed 41 goals he only had three star pot uh, potential but he was maxed out didn't feel he was worth keeping around so we let him go so jumping over after the four guys we signed in the early window uh, we brought in our fifth lone player of the season and that is uh gregor's gregor's pollock from Poland, and he's on loan from Borussia Dortmund. Three-star current, four-star potential, very, very solid, and he can be a ball-playing uh, center back. So we brought him in, trying to beef up the defense. Also, we got rid of Godoy. We needed to get another some more bodies in there. We were pretty thin there to begin with. Uh, then we brought in Marius uh, uh, Dopper, I'm just guessing, uh, from Hertha. Berlin, that's Hertha. I don't think that's Hertha Berlin, is it? Yes, it is. Hertha Berlin. Uh, seven and a quarter million going up to nine and a quarter. He is a 24 year old center back and left back. So he can fill a couple of roles for us. He's already maxed out, but uh, very good looking player for us. Valued at 29 million. And we pick him up for a song. And, you know, we've got to be budget conscious, right? You know, we don't have a huge budget. And you, you remember our budget was only like a little over seven million to begin with, so a lot of freeze. And then we sold a couple of players. We were only getting ten percent uh, of the transfers, so and we got it up to twenty five for uh, the last guy here. Uh, and then we brought in this guy. He popped up on my scout scouting. We brought him in from Freiburg, and he's the one that made uh, Van Har Haraway expendable. Uh, this is our new number one keeper, at least for right now. Uh, three and a half star current, four star potential, 24 year old German. 
and he looks really good. Very low eccentricity, but he looks to be a beast of a keeper. Uh, two appearances in friendlies, both shutouts for him. Uh, Khan Yuskel, uh, Yuxel, Yuxel, I'm guessing Yuxel, uh, but he's got some promises. They were hard coded into his demands. Could not void them out. He may be unhappy sooner rather than later. <laughs> the last guy we brought in was Ertzi Uritia from Atletico Bilbao, six and a half million. Uh, he is a striker, and he's one of the guys that we signed to try to meet one of the promises. Again, not a lot of money at only 10%, you know, 15%. So, you know, we, we may do with him three star current, three and a half star potential. He's got a lot of ability. Uh, he's only 23. He slots in as our number two player currently and, uh, you know, one of our top two guys from a potential standpoint. I'm really need, probably going to bench Marty this year. I think we're going to go with some of the younger guys. That's just what I am feeling. Now, if we go and look at our promises, so Yuxel wants us to strengthen the team up front. Well, I just signed a guy, so that hasn't registered for him yet. He wanted us to improve the coaching team. We're basically the best coaching team in in France. I, I don't know what else he wants us to do, so I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, we have signed a couple of uh, uh, scout. We promoted one of our scouts to chief scout. I am looking for another scout as well. But yeah, I just don't know what to do about Uxel's, uh promises. Hopefully that, that striker is enough. Everybody else, uh, Garcia, I've had him listed. Nobody's coming up to his value, and I'm not going to let him go for less than he's worth because he's too damn good. And uh, I'll be happy to keep him here. Uh, he is a great player. So wasn't happy he wanted to leave in the in the first place. And then Leclerc, who I also want to get into the mix, uh, he's only three star potential, but I think he could be a good player for us. I like how I like how he looks, but even though the coat the assistant coach doesn't think he's very good, I swear you put the dog out, he wants to come right back in. You go out and leave him in. He wants to go out with you, even though you're leaving. And then he'll want to come right back in. <laughs> just so, just ignore him. Uh, it should be quiet because all the girls are gone. My wife's gone. She took my daughter and my granddaughter, and they're out shopping and, and running errands. So, I've got a little bit of quiet time. I do need to get the recording done so I can go watch England Scotland here in a few minutes. Uh, they kick off in about forty minutes, I think. All right, let's get to it. That is the, uh, oh, let's look at the finances. So we are up to 81 million positive, right? So that's good. We got our payoff for TV. We got the 11 million for the league finish last year. We got some Euro money that came in late. And then some of the sales that we got all got banked, even though it didn't go to our transfer budget. So we're sitting on 81 million. This is the highest balance that we have had in ever you know going back to 2055 so the last five years so that's good uh we have lost 6.3 million this month but again most of that is uh signing a couple of new players so now that we're getting into the season we'll see how things truly look we are looking to qualify for the euros this year and season preview has us 25 to 1 to finish fourth uh, so I don't know if that means we aren't going to qualify or that's the clubs that are in this year. Uh, so anyway, that is, uh, that's a good sign that we're picked to finish that high. Uh, if we take a look at the top, at the key players in the league, uh, we have, uh, Dragan Pekaranen. Uh, so he is, uh, in the midfield and then, oh, Khan Yuxel. Our goalkeeper, he's our second guy in that list. And I think everybody only gets two. Uh, nobody in the first team here. Nobody in the first team, uh, so that's okay. All right, let's get to it. Tactical meeting. We're going to pick out the team. We're going with the 4-2-4 again. All right, we're going to go with Yuxel in goal. Aguiar on the bench. Uh, so Aguiar was going to be my number one this year, 21-year-old uh, Portuguese. 
And he's still my backup option if Yuxel goes off the deep end and decides, turn my headphones off, and uh, decides he wants out again. Quinonia is in that familiar right back, although he is a very good center back. Nimick was our starter there last year. Doffer's one of our new players. Fran out on the left, Pecoranen, and Garcia in the mid. Uh, Nagano on the left. That's going to put Ibarra on the right. And let's give Ur Uratia his debut alongside Martinez. We are going to have Leclerc on the bench as well. Fingers crossed. Hopefully we're a little bit better side this year, but you know we need to get these new guys ingrained. Luckily, not a lot of turnover in the in the scheme of things. And uh, we sold, I think, 200 more season tickets than last year. I think they're all sitting right up in that section. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Still not a lot of attendance. We're, you know, that's, that's really troubling that, you know, you can't, you know, you can't be competing for Europe and even draw 50%. That's kind of crazy. Well, we are playing at home. We do have four shots here in the early going. We need a little bit better push, though. Uh, hold on. Somebody said a broken hand. Ouch. Well, he's not showing. Okay. Interesting. All right. We'll keep an eye on him. See if he rebounds from that. All right. We are in the blue. That's a long throw down into the corner. Fran tracks back and controls it. And our first real highlight of the season. There's Pekaranen. Oh, what a ball. And it's through to Uratia. And there's a debut goal. What a goal. What a finish. And what a pass picked out by Pekaranen. And that's a huge assist from the midfielder. What a play. And look at Uratia. Just set up on the outside shoulder, made the run, and then played it across the face of the keeper. What a finish. If he can do that all season long, we could be causing some trouble for some teams. All right, they get it cleared out. We're back on the attack. There's a nice in ball. Martinez into the box. There he is, and he takes a crack, and it flies up into the stands. Not a great finish. Nagano's still looking okay. All right, we're going to have a, a throw in. It's Quinonez. Laid off to Garcia, squared in. Oh, uh, Nagano loses it, and it's cleared out. Oh, we pick it off. Turn on it. Ibarra. Ibarra had a nice goal and an assist in the friendly, so I'm hopeful he can do a lot of damage this year out on that right wing. He's going to be a guy we definitely want to keep an eye on. So 13-3 to on shots in the first half. It's a little bit bigger crowd. Does it tell us how many we've got here? I think it showed us earlier, but we'll take a look at that afterwards. All right, let's go uh, outstretched arms. I'm pleased. They're motivated. Let's go ahead and encourage them again. All right, Nagano's still doing okay and playing well. It's Doffer that has the worst average rating on his debut, but not, not doing badly. We haven't seen him screw up any. Quinonez cuts way inside. Pekaranen tried to get a ball into the box. Fran is out-muscled for the ball. But he fights back and gets it, and there's Dopper on his debut. Nice outlet pass to the wing on to Nagano. He cuts inside, and these guys are not inverted, so that's interesting. And there's a crack. I think it was going to be off target. Looking good. I tell you what, let's go ahead and sub. I'm going to move Ibarra to the left, make him an inverted winger, and then we'll uh, move Gomez to the right, and that gets the broken hand off. Gomez, well, Gomez is only in fair condition. Maybe I don't want to do that. You know what? I'm going to bring Uratia. I'd like to let him play up front. Let's bring Leclerc on. He can play out wide. Let's give him his debut with the club. Again, I, I picture him being more of a striker, but, you know, wow. Looks like Lil's up 5-0. All 
Quinonez in the box. Laid off to Leclerc. There it is to Pescarillo, and it just goes left of the goal. Not the best finish ever. Let's demand a little bit more now. Let's, let's try to push them and see how they respond. Martinez. And there it is. Pecorinen, his first goal of the season. He gets another crack at it and makes it pay off. So he's got a goal and an assist here in the first game of the season. Very nice finish. That puts us up into third in the table here in the early goings. Near post, we clear it out, head it away, and Uratia is beaten to the ball. He takes a tumble. And here's Leclerc, so he's got a highlight of his own. He's down the field, into the attacking third, crossed in, and nobody was at Garcia, I think, got his left boot on that. Just not a lot of force. All right, let's encourage him again. Let's kind of back it off, bring it back up. All right, they've got a set piece. This will be our first real shot at Yuxel. And, ooh, that's not a good uh, highlight for him. As Bellet puts it into the net, it's 2-1. to one. Grenoble over Havre. And that was a very nice set piece. Bends it around the wall. Probably poor positioning on that wall, too. All right. Pecorinen is tired. I could bring Ibarra back. But I really don't have anybody up there. You know what? I'm gonna put him, I'm gonna put Gomez in and let him play uh, inverted. I'm gonna swap him out. I'm gonna put Leclerc on that side and let him go inverted. Just you know, just kind of tweaking these guys around. And three minutes of stoppage time. Oh, they get a highlight here in the 92nd minute. Stabbed away. Ibarra's on it. A through ball. It's on to Uratia. And he dinks the keeper. He's got a debut brace, and he looks to be exactly what I hoped when I signed him. <clears throat> if his signing does not get our goalkeeper in a good mood, there's not going to be a whole lot I'm going to be able to do. A big 3-1 victory on the opening day of the season. 33 shots, 11 on target, 3.62 on the XG. Do we have a... I'm going to go outstretched arms. I'm wondering, will it show us... Well, we are third in the table, so that's good. A lot of teams haven't played yet, I'm sure. There's always that group that hadn't played yet. I want to see what our attendance was for the opening match. Here we go. 5,901. So about 2,000 more than I think we averaged last year. But that's still an opening match. And what does our what does our stadium seat? Twenty thousand. That's pathetic. I mean, if we were selling out or getting three quarters attendance, that would really help our budget a lot. All right, Pekarin and nine key passes plus a goal and an assist. That's nice. Uratia, you know, I think that's a, I think he's going to be a big signing for us. Let's see if that did anything for our promises. All right, well, he is, he's pleased, so that's green. Not happy here yet. Well, and Leclerc, I have played him out of position. I've got to play him up front more and just spot him in on those wing positions. So we'll do that uh, moving forward. I don't think we played Olympic Marseille last year, and we played Lille, but they're, they're a, a really good club. So let's come back for... Uh, Marseille highlights and Lil on the uh, for the next match. We'll be back for that next episode. Have a good one, guys. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And I look forward to seeing some comments below from you as well. What do you think of the signings? Who are the guys that are going to step up for us this year? And do we have a chance to crack that top five? We'll find out. Have a good one. Bye.